have a taste of that for orange juice. Oh my god, that's isn't that how orange oh, juice yeah. should be? That's how orange juice should taste, isn't it? That's sweet. that wall? Nah, he's got to ride this wall to get that wheel yep. to keep it from falling over because that ditch just here is so deep. Got ya. Give it a go. Send it. Not worried. Get your arms inside the car, man.
be old bull every day. Yeah. Here's the young bull down here. The tea yep. like that. <laughs> Brilliant. Absolutely sensational. That's how you learn though, watching guys with years of experience on that. Exactly, yeah. Search around for a. Uh... Ooh, yeah, there goes shit. the bumper. Sorry about that. You don't need that. That's not integral to a road. Nice good indicators. Hold your mirror in, mate. Hold your mirror in. Today, lads. That's all that he pulls for ages. <laughs> Demand has reached its peak. <laughs> How'd you go? Good? Yeah, good fun. Pretty easy, eh? Yeah, not too bad. Not yeah. Too bad How'd you go? Yeah, a bit of fun. Yeah. yeah. it was lots of fun. How'd you go? Alright? Yeah, it went through alright. Yeah, yeah, pretty easy. It wasn't yeah. too bad. Pretty easy? Oh, you went yeah, had some fun. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you go? Good? Yeah, that was good. That yeah, was fine. Pretty easy. Needs for you. Just hit the locker. <laughs> uh, I've got myself where I shouldn't be. Locker. Yeah. Drive out. Yeah. How are you travelling with the uh, this guy? Oh, it's sweet as. Yeah? yeah. Oh, are you good? Great from behind. Yeah? yeah. <laughs> well, with the bloody dislocation kit. Yeah. <laughs> it does. It looks uh -huh. really good. I'm full of air on top of my spring. Yeah. 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 So we've had a fantastic day today up in the Glasshouse Mountains. It's just been a really good trip with all these guys. It always pays to, to go away with a group who know where they're going. 
No, this, these, these guys really know their stuff. So. This is what the Glasshouse Mountains is all about. You can see these massive big peaks that are going up into the air. Look at that. Beautiful scenery. Well, I wouldn't have got that on anyway, and I took that off. And I uh, it it felt like not the first time I've done that. <laughs> I normally took it around just like the other time. Yeah, yeah. Just I cut off, cut them off there, and do away with the middle panel. Yeah, yeah. 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 I could have just got the angle grinder, I could have just cut it off. Sucked it in the back. Well, I was going to bring mine too. Oh, that's all right, mate. You're drinking one of Anno's. Do you want some oh, sorry. Or have you got one? I've got one. What I do need, someone's got a bowl lighter. Yeah, that's right. 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 Yeah, 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 <laughs> Bad times. Leave it right on the side. <laughs> is that what have you done to or what have you done with your landing? So is that what it's called boys? Is the, the uh, zip tie a roadworthy item in Gippy? That's what I want to know. <laughs> let's, let's, let's not go into details about the roadworthy. What are you talking about? My, lump, my number plates hold on by the zip tie. There you go. <laughs> oh nice. That'll just go straight back on, you know. Pristine. Yeah. Just get the soldering iron out. And we got a bowl. No, unfortunately not. Did you get some of those uh, the crafting seashrew uh, yeah, uh, paper. Bit of super glue, she'll you know? be right, mate. You can super glue. Yeah, so we can do with a bowl. Have you clipped it? Have you clipped the socket in? No. What would be smart? Why? What happens if it falls off? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> You're replacing it anyway. Well, I need a bowl, mate. Yeah, no one's got a bowl. No, I'll get one at the server. Oh. And here's a big python crossing the road. Look at the colours of it. Friendly? Hey. Are they friendly? No. No. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> snake job. Really, what, what sort of species is that? This is a python, mate. Yeah, Just a standard python, python yeah. is it? Carpet? I yeah. can't tell from the markings. I can only tell the diamond back from the markings. Yeah. Is it carpet? Is it? Yeah, they're not aggressive. No, no, as long as you go behind. Yeah. You can get him, you want me to get him out? Ah, oh, yeah, if you have yeah, a bit of a display. When I get these down in Victoria. Yeah, well, I'm not going in now, mate. No. Take the fish, he's gone. I've handled plenty of them, suckers. Oh, I know. He only had a little head on him. What was it? Five dollars. It looked like he just had a meal too. He was a bit fat. Beautiful sunset this afternoon around the Glasshouse Mountains and had a fantastic day. Everyone's had a great time and uh, we're going to be doing a lot more of these trips uh, around Australia. So. This is our first Queensland off-road trip and we're going to be doing a lot
lot more. So stay tuned. So check that sunset out. There you go. Yeah. The camera's on. Well, it all started like this. Turn the camera off, mate. I shared a cell with this bloke. <laughs> and his name was Dot. His name was Bob. <laughs> Bob Dot was his name. Oh, Bob, sorry. Neil. Harry Monk. Harry Monk. He was right next door. <laughs> Matt's trying to get footage and we're talking. <laughs> oh, Matt, this is a terrible time to be taking footage. Now, that Land Rover. <laughs> <laughs> All right, anyway, uh, earlier on... on a very diet, all the animals, um, but we're really into no waste, so we get day old bread that would otherwise go into the rubbish, and to waste we get given it for our animals, um, we have mixed grains, obviously we provide them all with their right foods, um, but then we get pineapples for example that are too small or they're not good enough for sale, so I'll then give them to the pigs. Uh, plus all of our greens in the garden. Um, so yeah, nothing, there's no waste here whatsoever. Alright, welcome to the Black Wattle Farm No Dig Garden. So they used to grow pineapples here a long time ago, so the soil's extremely depleted. Uh, so we've been here three years and we're really building up the soil. Uh, there was nothing here when we started, and now when you have a look, there's beautiful mulch, straight back, and you should have this nice, rich black soil. And so we've been working really hard to get that beautiful organic matter. But we grow everything in abundance. We let everything go to flower and seed. Uh, so I suppose it's a permaculture style setup. I'm learning to be a good gardener, so I throw uh, a bit of safety in numbers for me, throw everything in and if it grows, fantastic, if it doesn't, uh, there's no waste here whatsoever.
of that extra creamy. That's very hot. Be very careful. Mm. Mm. That's really nice. Seafood fondue is just, um, yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. Mm. There we go. Look at that. Yeah, if you are this is a traditional gypsy goat recipe. travel the world and have a restaurant called Gypsies by yep. the time I was 30. So she laughed because back then you got married, had kids and you know you weren't career orientated. So I travelled, um, went and spent a lot of time overseas and came back, got my restaurant, had my restaurant for several years which I started in Harvey Bay. I was adopted, I met my natural mother and I have a Gypsy heritage. Oh, fantastic. So I never saw that coming. There you go. So if you ever need to sort of feel you're in going in the right direction, that was it. Oh wow, yeah. that's incredible. I had a lovely dinner tonight at the Gypsies table in Montville and Lisa is a fantastic chef. She, she, how long have you been doing this for now? 38 years. Okay. I've had the restaurant 18. Wow, yep. that's fantastic. We had a beautiful entree that was um, absolutely delicious. It's a seafood chow and that was absolutely amazing. I love the little scallops in there. And we've got some amazing goat dishes and then we've got some curries and some beautiful desserts. Excellent service, great place to, to visit. Look at all the different decorations around here. What's actually, it's, what sort of country is, is um, the Gypsy specific to? Well, gypsies started in India. Okay. There was a mass exodus many, many years ago. Oh, they okay. really struggled to sort of pinpoint, yeah. but there were so many at any one given time that they actually branched off, and that's how come you've got gypsies all over the world. Oh, wow. I wanted something that didn't restrict my cooking because I've traveled to cook. Yes. Um, gypsies are colorful, music, passionate, and that embraces all the things I believe in. Yeah. And it gave me the, the freedom and scope to bring in any sort of culture food I wanted and be as quirky as I needed oh, to be. Oh wow. Oh fantastic. Oh that's lovely. Oh, well thank you very much for tonight. I Pleasure. Really appreciate it. And we hopefully we'll be back again. And I'm definitely pretty sure we will be. Absolutely. So, yeah. Thanks very much. Thank you. Okay.